Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Emerald City Confidential. Last we left off, we were going to test out going past Ginger. With my footsteps silent, she can't hear me. Yee! At least that's one good thing that's happened to me today. Yeah. The general sure can snore. I'm almost out of here. Huh? Voices. They're coming this way. I have to hide. Uh... Uh... Well, the classic thing is to hide behind a curtain, and there's a big gigantic... Oh, she's doing it automatically. Oh, shit. How did they not see her? A Phanphasm spy in our university. Professor Wogglebug said he was just as shocked as anyone. You needn't punish him. I don't intend to. He is useful in his way. Have you examined the spirit rod? Yes, and you were right. It is the same spirit rod that was used in the war. Huh? And the souls of the witches? Were inside, yes. Fascinating. You know what, what this means. I do. If you were still king, would you do anything different? I am not capable of making those decisions, Your Majesty. That is why I am no longer king. As your advisor, I do the best I can, but the choices are yours to make. You know what is best for Oz. You keep us strong. You keep us safe. Hmm. We won't be attacked again, Scarecrow. I won't allow it. I never said otherwise. And what about the woman who found the spirit rod? Yes. Petra, she's in the prison now. No, I'm not. I had no choice, Scarecrow. That law exists for a reason. I am sure she appreciates that. I wonder how she is coping. Perhaps you could use this magic picture to find out. Wha hey! Hmm. An interesting idea. N what? He helps me escape and then betrays me? That backstabbing, straw-filled son of a... Show me Petra. Well, that's interesting. Yes, interesting. Come out, Petra. We know you're there. Um. Um. It's just the cleaning service. All right, she can't talk. I can't say a word. Not that it would do me any good. <laughs> they have me. I can either give myself up or wait for the guard to drag me out. But if I'm about to go down, then I'll go down with dignity. Sure. You escaped. Tell me how. I can't. Um, you're ugly and you smell like sour pumpkins. But, you know, dude did just rat us out. I want to implicate the Scarecrow. I really do. But I'm still struck silent from Dee's magic. This is true. It appears she can't speak. Are you sure? If this woman can do anything, it's talk. <laughs> I can reverse that spell. Come with me to the throne room. We have much to discuss. But what are they saying about the witches? The last time I faced Ozma on her throne, I was thrown into a dungeon. Whatever she has planned for me now, it can't be good. The power of speech has been returned to you. Please answer this question. Do you know anything about the spirit rod? Eh, no. I know nothing. I know nothing, your majesty. There's no reason why you should. Do you remember how we won the war, Petra? What finally drove the Phanphasms away from our borders and across the desert? Um... I wasn't there. Yes, I know. But indulge me. Well, Ruggedo helped us. The Phanphasms were weak and we outsmarted them. But... Ruggedo helped us. The Gnome King was our enemy before we captured him, true. He gave us important information about the enemy, which aided us greatly. But that alone would not have turned back the tide of war. We were on the verge of losing. This is true. But we didn't lose. No, we didn't. Of course we didn't. I don't know why I have to listen to this history lesson. Her eyes and voice betray nothing, just icy calm. What I am about to tell you will not leave this room. The Wicked Witches of Oz, do you know of them? Uh, yeah. Of course. 
Every, everyone knows. Whether you see, I mean, this is going into the meta gaming, but whether or not you've seen the movie or actually read the original books, uh, a lot of people have never. Uh, you hear "Wicked Witch of the West and the East," and you you know exactly what we're talking about. So, of course, I do. Every school child knows those stories. They ruled the Winky and Munchkin countries before they were destroyed by Dorothy Gale and her friends. It was a long time ago. We were all different people then. We thought we were doing the right thing. It is easy to say that the witches deserved their deaths. They were tyrants and traitors and were not fit to live. But their existence ensured there was balance. Hmm. Balance? I don't understand. Be patient. The witches of the East and West were dead. What of the witches of the North and South? Glinda and Locasta, do you know about them? Ah, uh, well, I know Glinda, but... <sighs> the reports... Locasta was the witch of the North, and Glinda was the witch of the South. Good and wise, they let their subjects live in peace without interference. They were the most powerful magic users in the kingdom until they both died during the Phanphasm War. Oh no! But when they died, the Phanphasms fled. The tide of battle turned. We forced them away easily. The enemy was suddenly weaker, less confident. It defied all logic. If I may. You may. Once I applied my brain power to the problem, it was simple to work out. Oz is all about balance, you see. It is? Four countries, four witches. Two of them wicked, two of them kind. With the Emerald City in the middle to bind them. When these elements are in harmony, we are strong. When they are not, we are weak. So... This is how the Phanphasms were able to attack us in the first place. When the two wicked witches were killed. So when the last two witches died, everything was in balance again. To an extent. Oz has natural magical defenses, but only when there is balance. With I all see. four witches dead, there was a balance again. It was weak, but it enabled the kingdom to fight back. That's really interesting. So, with the two wicked witches defeated, and they had the two kind witches still in power... Interesting. So... Well, but, yeah, how can a kingdom fight? How can a kingdom fight? Oz is a kingdom built on magic, Petra. So you banned Some it. things we are not meant to understand. Oh! Is that why you banned it? You banned magic, even though it was... Be because if someone learns enough magic, they could become a witch. And it would disrupt the balance. Oh! Oh, cool! Okay. That... Maybe... Well, lucky for us, they died. Wow, that's kind of cold. Lucky for us, they died. Don't make light of their sacrifice. Yeah. Not a day passes when I don't wish things could have been different. It didn't work, though, did it? The Phanphasms are back. A spy got through. One spy isn't a direct assault. That's true. They can't attack us directly, so they must resort to other methods. <sighs> so what happened next? I banned the use of magic to prevent another witch from coming into power. HA! Called it! If there was another witch, our magical defenses would be gone. I could not let that happen. But... Yeah, but people practice magic anyway. But people practice magic anyway. Petty thieves and criminals. Hardly a threat to the balance. Rest assured that if there was any powerful magic in any of them, we would know. Why are you telling me all this? I was just getting to that. Cutter, the Phanphasm spy, was here for a reason. He was <clears throat> searching for the keystones. Did he tell you about them? Uh... No. I didn't talk with him. Damn it! I guess I should have gone to the university to chat with Cutter? I don't remember. Allow me to refresh your memory. Cutter read about the keystones in an ancient manuscript and organized several expeditions to find them. None of them ever returned. Are the keystones important? They are ancient. They were created when the goddess Lurleen built this kingdom. 
They are the source of our magic and protect us when the kingdom is in balance. As with the witches, there are four of them, one in each country. We believe Cutter was looking to destroy them, to find a way to make us weak once more. <gasps> Did he succeed? No, but he found something of far greater value. The spirit rod? The spirit rod. You are correct. An ordinary wooden rod, but with four spirits four held inside. Four spirits? The spirits of our friends, the four witches. Oh, uh, wait. All four witches were friends? Well, I suppose that kind of makes sense. But, yeah, how did Cutter find something like that? How did Cutter find something like that? We do not know. All we know is that if the rod had not been stolen, he would have it still. That man Ansel is a true hero, whether he knows it or not. Figures. Ansel hid like a coward and gets called a hero. Me, I get arrested. Yeah. There's no justice. But wait, the four witches in a rod? The four witches in a rod? We are at a loss to explain it ourselves. But I could feel them. They were inside the rod, trying to get out. I don't know how long they've been in there, but I imagine it isn't pleasant for them. But what does all this have to do with me? Yeah. Oz is made up of four countries. Each country has a witch. Each country has a keystone. They are all linked. The keystones can bring the witches back. We will have four witches again. Our magical defenses will be stronger than ever. And then you can remove the ban on magic. Exactly. But there's a problem, or else you wouldn't be telling me this. I know the location of two of the keystones, those of the north and the east. Those spirits are free, but two remain. The remaining two keystones have been difficult to find. We need someone of your skills to track them down. I dare shovel for royalty. Why me? Why me? My magic cannot locate the remaining keystones. My resources are limited. The task needs someone who is resourceful in other ways. You will find a gump waiting for you in the courtyard. It knows your first two destinations. But... This isn't open for debate. Take the spirit rod and go. Incidentally, the four witches were the most powerful magic users in the kingdom and the most wise. One of them might be able to find your brother. Thank you, your majesty. But my brother is gone. Yeah, that's kind of a low... He can't be used as a bargaining chip. Yeah, exactly. Not even by you. Was that entirely wise? Her brother is a sensitive subject. If it gives her motivation to continue, then its purpose is served. Damn! Ozma, you cold! You asked to see me, first and foremost? We have interrogated the prisoner. You let the spirit rod slip through your fingers, twice! It may seem that way, your highness. Seem that way? It is that way! You were given that spirit rod in order to entrap the four witches! Now, two of the witches are free again! Eek. Not only that, but you can't even go back to Oz as a spy! You have failed us. Your Highness, I have spent years formulating this plan, and I've prepared for every eventuality. Including this one? Yeah. The prospect of the spirit rod falling into enemy hands did cross my mind, yes. So, what's your plan? The Rod is traveling with Petra now. We have to watch her very closely and see what she does. And then? That's the clever part. Now listen. And of course they're gonna cut away because we can't actually know what their plan is because fuck. Interesting. So we can go to the palace. And we can still go... Oh, we can't go to certain places, but we can go to the university. Before we go anywhere else, we have some buttons for scraps. Hey, scraps, thanks for saving my life. Scraps. Hello there. 
I found some more buttons. I've got some buttons for you. You do? Oh, that's... Oh, do I mean... Fa thank you! Ooh, concept sketch of Ozma. Pretty. Sinister sketch. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's a bit more sinister than we've got. Sketch of Anzo looking like Clark Gable. Ha! <laughs> some early sketches of D. Ah, trying to figure out. All right. So, that's pretty interesting. Then Give how many me some more drawings? Enjoy. Shut up. Four of the seven. Five of seven. And two of seven. And what's the local newspaper say? Let's see what the current headlines are. Phantasm Spy is still at large. An unassuming assistant professor at the Royal University was discovered to be in the employ of the Phantasms, the race of the people who invaded Oz over 20 years ago. Professor Wogglebug, founder of the university, told this reporter that the news came as a complete shock. Let's uh, see what the... That was it. Okay. Let's check out the university. Huh. Glad that we still have this resource open to us. It would have been rather uncomfortable if we couldn't. Hmm. Wogglebug. Hello, Professor. I can't believe it! Cutter! A traitor! You think you know a person. I trusted that man with incredible knowledge. Lurline only knows what he'll do with it. Hmm. It's a travesty. A travesty. Relax, Professor. I'll relax when that phantasm is rotting in the darkest dungeon of the palace. Hmm. I've been told that you are looking into this mess. Yes, I am. You're welcome to keep using the pill machine if you need it. Oh. Well, that's nice Hello, of you. Professor. I can't. You th I relax. I, 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 your... I desire else? knowledge. Let's see. Phantasms, Ruggedo, Jack, Tick Tock, Linda. Okay. Place. What? That fa No! Give me the. That fa Ah! Fine. I'll eat Glinda again. I already know this. Places. Okay, that's it. Oh, um, and I did find out who this guy is. The black says D. Lewis Gilbert. Hm, never heard of him. Can't be that important. Yeah, apparently D. Lewis Gilbert is like the president of Wadget Games, the producers of this game. So, um... <laughs> That's a cute little reference. Alright, so we've kind of poked about the only places we really can. There's Quadling Country and Winky Country. Quadling Winky. Quadling Winky. Let's go to good territory first. Quadling Country is considered to be Oz's natural preserve. Trees grow like wildfire, and animals of all shapes and sizes roam the land. Some might even consider that a good thing, but I've never been a fan of nature. Explore Woots Arena. But I saw that glint. Wait, that's a green one? It looks, it looks, that totally looked yellow! It's Wild Arena of the Arcane. Can't say much for the decor, but at least the sign of civilization in this backwards place. Quadling Forest? I keep saying Quadling. The red trees of Quadling Country choke the surrounding area. Copper Rod? Okay. And poster? The great Mombi. See her live. Mombi? You know, I'm sure that that's a reference to... something. I guess we have no choice. Let's, uh... Wait. Walk to tower? 
Well, let's center the stadium, I guess, since that's where we are. Hmm. Mommy, baby, just relax. You're my star attraction, and I'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. Get rid of that wizard, then. Mombi, sweetheart, you're the tops. But you wizard? know I can't do that. He's allowed to be here as much as you. His presence irritates me. Mombi, you're the cream of the crop, and we all love you. But my hands are tied. You are a miserable worm. I'll be in the cafe. Call me when you find a challenger worth my time. Wizard, huh? Another topaz button. Posters. These posters are everywhere. This mombi rod sure gets around. Woot. Hello. Why, it's a citizen of the Emerald City, in my arena. How's your place doing? You're from the city? Nah, but I've wandered through a number of times. In fact, that's my name. Woot the Wanderer at your service. I'm Petra. So, why are you, yeah. Why are you called Woot the Wanderer? You don't seem to be wandering anywhere. Well, in my younger days, I was quite the traveler. I came from a little village in Gillikin country. One day I left and never looked back. Where did you travel? Oh, I've seen places beyond your wildest dreams. The old days were full of wild and untamed magic. Sorcerers and witches and all sorts of crazy creatures. Ah, the world was full of wonder. Not like this regulated junk you get nowadays. I fought in the war just like everybody else. Nothing was the same after that. No, it wasn't. I wasn't the same either. I lost my taste for wandering. So, I set up shop here. Shop, huh? What is this place? Oh, you mean you don't know? No. I just kind of wandered in. Well, I know all about wandering. You're <laughs> standing in Woot's Wild Arena of the Arcade. It is here that the greatest wizards, witches, sorcerers, magicians, and conjurers come to do battle. Wizards and witches? You mean you organize magic duels? You betcha. It's a little taste of the old days right here at Woot's Wild Arena of the Arcade. But, uh, yeah. Aren't magic duels against the law? Of course they are. I got a special license. As long as the duels are strictly regulated, we're fine. What kind of regulations? What kind of regulations? Just two, but they are biggies. Number one, no magic outside the ring. That's fine. And number two, during the fight, only one spell can be cast at a time. You can't have magic spells mixing together. You never know what's going to happen. Huh. Hint, hint. When is the next fight? Whenever I say it is. There are many magic users left, and our current champion is so good that nobody wants to face it. Well, nobody but the wizard. The wizard? The wizard of Oz? Mr. Great and Powerful himself. Really? Well, well, well. The great wizard of Oz now working at a pathetic magic duel arena in Quadling Country. An interesting development, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, maybe he knows where this keystone thingy is. I'm looking for something called a keystone. Do you know where it is? I've seen plenty of keys and my fair share of stones. But a keystone? I can't say that oh, I come don't. on. A keystone is generally the main center stone in an arch, and it's the one that if you pull it apart, the entire arch will come down, but any other stone in the arch, and usually it will hold pretty well. Did an expedition team come this way? We get all sorts of crowds come through here. I wouldn't know one from the other. Mm. See you around, Woot. Woot! Whoop! I don't want to enter the ring. Huh. Let's enter the cafe. Oh. Maybe that was not the brilliant idea. 
A cake? That's bad for my figure. What else do you have? We have a light snack. No, be gone with that. I require something far more substantial. That's all we have left. You dare deny the great Mombi? Yeah, apparently. We'll get more in tomorrow. Sh see to it. Lady, they have no control over that. They only get in what they get in. And this is interesting. So you're going to go sulk in the corner. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to go sulk in the corner. That's brilliant. Anyway, I'm out of time for this installment of Let's Play Emerald City Confidential. But I hope to see you next time where apparently I'm going to be poking around this cafe area. Hope to see you then.